There are actually new overtime rules. I can't believe I'm saying this. I thought for sure this was never going to get implemented. I feel like the NFL is very slow adapting league. I feel like they don't like to change. I feel like they're very resistant to change. Yeah. Similar to like an elderly person. And then you think, you know, all the owners are elderly people. So it makes sense. The NFL has heard your cries and adjusted accordingly in the postseason. Ah, caveat, 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 caveat. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It is postseason only appears. The league's owners approved a change to overtime rules on Tuesday that will ensure both teams will receive a possession in overtime. The NFL announced NFL Network Insider. Yeah, hey, I couldn't get fired. The rule change was voted 29 to 3. That yeah. is incredible. Who's the jackasses that were the three? The, the teams that won. You know what I find interesting about this? That's almost a unanimous vote. I mean, that is an overarching majority. Yeah. 29 to 3. It kind of makes you think, how did this not get implemented sooner? Right. That is so true. Like, you would think like the vote would be, you know, what that's 32. You think the vote would be 17 to 15. Yeah. And it's this narrow margin. Like, they've been voting on it every year. Because this has been going for, on for quite a while. Well, people, people have always brought it up. This. I don't think it's ever legitimately got brought up, though, because what, last year you're telling me this would have got voted down, but all of a sudden this year right. it's 29 to 3? Either way, this rule change will only apply to the postseason where the advantage has statistically been more skewed toward the team winning the overtime costs. They are 10 and 2 in such contests since the previous OT format began in 2010 than in the regular season. We were talking about that statistic, you know, yeah. when we brought this up before. This is the, this is the thing I was fucking laughing about. Roger, we always listen to the fans. That's an important thing. Shut, dude. Boy, boy, what do you mean? I think as far as pro sports go, the NFL is the worst. I think the NBA is actually pretty damn good. I think you get a lot of coverage in the NBA. I think that's why, to me, NBA players are so much more recognizable. You know what I mean? Like, couldn't you name they more like have NBA like, they players? They have like a voice kind of thing. I feel like they do. I feel like they're a lot more influential. I yeah, feel yeah. like they say a lot more. I feel like NFL players are like robots, dude. Like, they're all so perfectly media trained, and it's like yeah. really fucking buddy-buddy elitist. I don't know. Maybe sure. that's just my tinfoil hat speaking, but that's just my opinion. We always listen to fans. That's an important thing. All right. All right, Goodell. We'll see, buddy. What they need to do next in the NFL, by the way, is legalize marijuana. Every single fucking player True. smokes a... They legal Did you see they legalized it federally, I think? What? Like I every... I think uh, I saw Joe Rogan posted something about that it. That can't be right. No, there's no way what you just said is right. What would that mean, though? Oh, no, no. They decriminalized it. Decriminalized. Decriminalized it. Is, is like super, super well, yeah, different. That's way different. I was about to say, if, if every all 50 states you can smoke weed in now, that's Not what yet. I thought you going to the Senate. Oh, it passed in the House is going to the Senate. So why do you think they only did it in the postseason? Just because players, like, I know we talked players about this Players want before. to play less football. Yes. The least amount of football that players can play is the best case scenario. Obviously, though, once you get to the postseason, now players are fighting for, I mean, at the end of the day, it's also money too. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if your program can go to the Super Bowl or can go deep in the playoffs, you want the best chance of winning because that's increased chances of a contract extension, of making big money, of getting traded to a big team. Right. So, yeah. At the end of the day, during the regular season, I don't think players give a shit. I think players want to stay healthy and keep their career alive. And that is why they're not going to do it in the regular season. Which I agree with. I totally agree with it in the regular season. Just the postseason would be both. Goodell added that he doesn't necessarily believe the new postseason OT rules will eventually be adopted for the regular season, but the league will continue to discuss the rules as they do after every season. I agree. I actually totally agree with that. I think um, I think it should be where it is. Yeah, it's been adapted in 2010, 2012, and 2022 now. So, I don't know. And it's fair. It's fair in the postseason. And in the regular season, it's a business still. Yeah. You know, this isn't college football. College football is a totally different ball game. I never like when people compare college football and NFL football. They are completely different things as far as like what the players are playing for. There's a precedent for changing a rule first for postseason only and then going back and changing the rule for regular season two. We will see if that's where this is ultimately headed. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good point. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think no. it's going to happen in the next five years, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be bothered either way. Bix, either way, I'm sorry, Bills. I'm glad it fucking happened, but yeah, yeah really. So sorry, Bills shitty. fans. Imagine being Josh Allen. Just One like, year Bro. too late but how sick would it be if they get you know they fucking hilarious actually let me retake this they take. play the chiefs again and then they beat them no they overtime. play the chiefs again they win the coin toss they score on offense first and then the chiefs score on offense and then the chiefs beat them oh like the, like like the rule change yeah. fucks them just twice didn't, just yeah just didn't even help them. i don't want to pray on that i love josh allen i love josh allen and also i don't know how the yak merchant patrick mahomes is gonna do without tyree kill so we're gonna have to see okay this this next nfl season is gonna be fucking insane yeah there is so much going on. So question, if they both score a TD, then is it sudden death? Um, No, it would be the same as it is in the regular. Er, correct. 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 Cool. Actually, I don't know. Over what is the overtime rule? So they each get a possession. Let me.
me find it. What are the new NFL overtime rules? That is a really good question. What teams voted against the NFL OT rule change? Uh, it was the Bengals, the Dolphins, and the Vikings. Hmm. Why those three teams? I really don't know. That is an interesting group of teams, but under the NFL's previous overtime rules, the team that played defense first in overtime was not guaranteed to get an overtime possession. They would get the ball only if they could force a punt, a turnover, or hold their opponent to just a field goal. Under the new setup, both teams will get the ball in overtime regardless of what happens. So there won't be any sudden death overtime until the second possession of the extra period. Of course, the new rule only apply in the postseason. The receiving team can still end regular season overtime games with touchdown on the first possession. Okay, so after the second possession, if the game is tied after each team gets its shot, then sudden death ensues. So scoring any point after both teams have scored is sudden death. So you could actually win on a field goal in this scenario. So if you were to run the Bills and Chiefs game back, Chiefs score, PAT, Bills score. Now the Bills could choose to go for two and win it mm -hmm. or outright lose right there. Or they kick the PAT and send it into sudden death. Now you give the ball back to the Chiefs and all they got to do is get in field goal range. So there is something to be said that there is still a significant advantage to receiving the ball. Just that advantage is not as significant as it used to be. If you win the coin toss in overtime in the postseason, you're still going to receive the ball. Unless like your team is fucking horrible on offense and insanely good on defense. And right. I don't think anyone's going to admit that in the NFL. Also, you're probably not going to make it deep in the postseason doing that anyway. So whatever. You get the idea, boys. All right. NFL overtime rules. That's it, baby. Yeah.